G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back in anywhere, anytime, coming in today, 20, we've hit the big boy numbers, we're into the 20s now, and the sun, at perfect timing, is just rising over the horizon, the guards are already kicking off and murdering lots of people, I should go over there and like free up their sight lines a bit more, so less of them just ratatating for no reason, more of them actually killing zombies, which might be good for me, but today, I need to pick up where I left off last night, yesterday was a ridiculously big day, much bigger than I was expecting it to be, and I came home with all of the skill notes that I'm going to need, but what I don't have is all of the black dye that I'm going to need, so, there's some in there, or could we just nip you out of there, I know I have fluorescent green shoes, but let's not mention that, the black dye is more important for other things, I just need to go through and find where I've got some leftover dye around the place, if I do have any, and make myself some ink to make myself the next uh, class that I need, which I think was, it was farmer, wasn't it? That's what I was pushing for, because then I can make some farm plots for my backyard, I can fix up my walls, I can really take my little base I got here to the next level. Just had to do the legwork first. Before I do anything though, given that it is fresh in the morning, the dew is still settling on the grass, I need to get out here and just make sure I don't have too many problems. Speaking of problems, there's one less and one less again. You got any friends out here as well? I mean, it's probably a good routine actually to get into. Just go outside and quickly maim and murder any of the zombies that are cruising about. Try to break down me bloody walls. No, thank you. I do need to make all this reinforced concrete as well. All the concrete has now set. So I'm going to say I heard some more footsteps. Murdered some more footsteps. Once this is all up and running, once I have a good wall on the outside, I won't have to worry too much more about it. But for now, I've got to make sure I've got some active defense going. It's going to take a fair bit of effort to get this yard up and going, isn't it? I suppose we could put, like, maybe the farm plots around the outside of this patio here. That might not be a particularly bad idea to keep, like, kind of the, the main part of it there to walk around and get all my seeds rather than trampling my crops. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. That is a later Josh problem. Current Josh. In fact, I did find a tier 18 chainsaw in the zombie loot bag, which I'm not too unhappy about, to be honest. I don't really use chainsaws all that often, but I'll happily have one just sitting in a chest somewhere just in case the day comes around that I do want to start burning dinosaurs for wood production. Um, so I've got two black dyes. I need lots more. It was you, wasn't it? What do you need? You need not solvents, black dye. Red, blue, yellow, and boiled water. Okay, you can go away. I need red, blue. I have no yellow. Hmm. Maybe I should have been looking out for that while I was out and about in the town as well, rather than just focusing on this and nothing else. Hopefully it'll be all right, though. I do have enough dye to make two inks, and that should make me able to make... Ooh, one blank glass paper. Okay. Okay, well, at least that's going to get my farming stuff out of the way and done nice and early, so that's kind of okay with me. I do need some more black dye, though. I also need to make myself a chemistry station. Beaker, lots of forged iron, three cooking pot, short iron pot. Okay, I have most of that stuff in here, so I'll grab you. I need... Uh, how many was it? It was three, wasn't it? You can go into them. What else do I need? Forged iron, short iron pass bottle, acid. Do I have that much forged iron left over? I, yes, I do. No whackers there. Got enough uh, acid as well. And the pipes. All right, cool. Well, let's get the chemistry station up and going. I was going to try and do it right now. It's going to take a long bloody time. So I'll just have it there for later on, I suppose. Let's put this stuff back and go off the trade to use his chemistry station and get myself some ink. I'm feeling very um uptight again today. Very, like, nervous and anxious again today. I know that I have a lot of stuff that I need to do. That might be coming into it a little bit. You guys are right. You guys just peppering things for the sake of peppering things. Like, it's an undercooked steak. Yeah, all right. No whackers there. Let me just quickly go upstairs and use the chem station. It doesn't take so long to make the ink, but while I'm here, I will go around and open up some of their salt lines to make their life just a little bit better. Both of you... That's all well and good. Only a couple of seconds on each. Thank you. Turn you off again. I should, though, while I'm out here, yellow dye needs golden rod flowers. If I find some of those out and about in the wilderness as well, I'd probably go and pick some to make some dye that I need. There's none really out here right now, but that's all right. All right, let's do some, let's do some home renovations. Let's make everyone's life a little bit better. Actually, rather than using the axe... 
<laughs> what? Yeah, okay. The crowbar just does everything. Who needs anything but a crowbar? Could be the pickaxe for that one, but that's okay. Is that enough sight lines for you guys? Did it go down a little bit further? Are you gonna be happy with that? We'll try just like this for now. Let's not go too crazy. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, Trader Bob. Trader Bob, Trader Rex. Dude, I'm getting your name wrong now. I'm gonna have to get rid of your sign. It's lovely and great and all those things, but it's more important for your guards to actually do what you pay them for. I've noticed there's quite a lot of damage to these little blocks around here as well, so I think they are actually having a bit of trouble shooting through those blocks at that range, so I'll get rid of them as well. Get rid of you. That was weird. The sparks are just floating there, but that's all right. Keep on going. Pock down all these things. Get all the sight lines open. You guys are going to have a field day the next horde that rolls through. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Um, I have made a mistake. I have made a severe misjudgment. My miscalculation is great, and my mood has dropped considerably. Does he ever forget that I just murdered his friend? I barely even murdered him. Barely even a little bit. I tickled him in the temple a little bit with a pickaxe and buried it in his skull. That barely even counts. Okay, well, this is a problem. My bike is also out the front. So now I'm stuck. I'm gonna try and head out this way and try and break their sight line. I might have to murder that one guard. I don't know if all the other guards are gonna get mad at me if I murder him. I don't know. I feel like I just got stitched up something shocking there. I was trying to help you. I was trying to be your friend. I was trying to have some sort of like agreement with you guys. I was going to help you. You were going to help me. And instead, I slightly... Okay, I'll put my hand up. I slightly murdered one of your friends. That's probably not great by me. But it was an accident. It was manslaughter. Not murder. I'm sorry. He's still trying to shoot me. I can hear the... I can hear the bullet impacts on my shed just there. So, okay, if I go this far away... He stops trying to pepper me. Can I even see who the one who's trying to kill me is? Or is he too far away? I can't quite. Oh, it's getting real dicey. That bloody tree's in the way. Okay, I'll head around this side. I've got to have to kill him. Oh, okay. Well, something else has come up. That was a shit grenade shot, actually, Josh. Uh, let's go with the pistol. Grab the grenade back. Grab the grenade back. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, everything in this world is trying to kill me now. We have some problems. There's eight legs and 18,000 bullets. Oh, this world is not a fun place for me today. I just wanted to do some home renos. I've made it on top of this rock to try and better defend against the spiders that are trying to murder me. Are we good? One did make it up. It was a little bit scary, but for the most part, we're looking okay. Right. Okay, so the next problem is how do I deal... With that trader guard who now wants my spine to decorate his living room like he's the goddamn predator. Close your freaking mandibles and put your mask back on. No one wants to see you, you ugly motherfucker, as Arnie so delicately put it. I just need a way to shoot you. Who is actually the one who's trying to kill me? Can I even see him? Is it, is it you? I don't know which one it's going to be. Okay, well, how about I just go like this then? Oh, God, the the, <laughs> the difference in mouse movements is ridiculous. One, and two. I mean, it's just a slight bit of murder. It's for the greater good, I promise. I'm going to win the Small Town of the Year award. You can't stop me. I never wanted it to come to this. There we go. No. Okay, he stopped. I think it's definitely that one, though. We'll try it again. I'm not stopping until you or I are dead. The question is, though, will all the other clans over there get real mad at me for murdering their friends? They already have got mad once. Will they get mad again? I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're about to find out. Are you dead now? No, come on, die properly. I successfully murdered him. Um, It's weird how a murder is somehow the solution to a murder, but we're going to leave that little, like, fallacy of logic aside. I'm going to move from cover to cover... To try and see if maybe they're like all his friends are gonna try and kill me. I don't especially know. Bit out in the open. So far, no one's got really mad at me, so I guess we're okay. 
This isn't really how I wanted this to go down. Now I have a vacant corner over here because they decided to be dick nuts and try and murder me for doing nothing but other than, well, I mean, yes, murder, but also mainly just trying to help them. Okay, can we be friends again? Let's just agree that none of that happened. <laughs> Please don't come over to the crime scene. I'm gonna taint it with evidence so no one can pin me for this. I actually can't believe how close we came to losing the series right there. The quick thing could have bailed off the side to try and use some cover to stay alive. That was it. We're playing permanent. If they had like skibbled me a little bit more, it would have all been over already. And I'd have been a very unhappy woodle, that is for damn sure. Because I'm really enjoying this playthrough. It's like at the moment, it's a little bit slower paced than like regular seven days without the hordes, but I know it's gonna get so much worse as time goes on with demon hordes and radiator hordes and all sorts of things, behemoths and things showing up. So it's gonna get pretty freaking heck of doodle as we go on. But I'm enjoying my base. I'm enjoying the world. I like everything that's happening here, except when the guards turn on me. Okay, I've opened up everything that I can for all of the guards. I did get my ink, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, cool bananas. Let's head back home. Uh, was it trading potato day today, actually? I don't well, really remember. Money, I'll quickly yeah, have a yeah, chat to you though. See how you're your going. Know you restock tomorrow. Alrighty then. I'll talk to you tomorrow then. I can now take my bike in peace and head back home. Huh. That was uh, a rather eventful trip to the shops, you know? I went down the road, just ducked up the corner to grab myself a cheeky neeky hot dog. But no, I left with eight packets of Doritos and 17 sausage rolls as well. So like when I actually go to the shops when I'm snacky, I'm not leaving the confectionery aisle. That's a really, really big challenge for actually having a decent dinner for a change. I do have quite a lot of ammo making materials in here as well, but I'm reasonably well stocked on most of the ammo that I use. Shotgun ammo, actually, weirdly enough, is my uh, most limited form of ammo. I've got plenty of buckshot, but I don't actually think I have a lot of paper, do I? Maybe I should keep an eye out for a paper mill. Give me you, give me the buckshot and the gunpowder, and I'll just get a bunch of shotgun ammo on the go. Yep, sure, how many is that gonna make? 300 rounds? That's like two full stacks. Oh, I have my new stuff as well. I forgot about that. How do you forget about that, Josh? How do you bloody forget about that? You're looking forward to it for so long. I just assumed I'd already put it down somewhere. I was like, oh yeah, we're already done. No whackers knackers, I'm sure we're fine. But turns out I made the bloody things that completely gapped it. I'll break down you. You're just a regular cabinet. Sorry, I'll use my crowbar. Get rid of you. Okay, so working wall oven and working sink. Sink goes underneath my tap. Perfect. Oven goes next to it underneath the range hood. Is there like a different version you I can have? Because that one's kind of yuck. Oh, well, it'll do. Boom. Look at that. Now it's all working. It's all looking proper. Got the range hood, got the oven, got the sink. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I need the bloody paper to make myself the stupid book. All right, real quick. Let's pause you for a moment. I need all of that back. Make you. Go back to that one. Craft the rest of that. Missed out on a couple of rounds of shotgun ammo, but I'll find some more, I promise. I was too busy also getting shot in the face by the stupid guard. I forgot to keep an eye out for any golden rod, so I'll have a squeeze around for that in a little bit as well. My kitchen's looking lovely. You guys can go away to store the things I don't need anymore. Back where it's supposed to go. In there and in... No, not that one. In there. Right. Okay, so... You're still cooking away on all the concrete. That's fair enough, but real quick... Learn an elixir. Can I make you yet? No, I can't need Master Farmer, which I'm trying my hardest to get. But if I got that, then doing all the upgrades we're getting outside would give me bonkers loads of experience, which would be lovely to try and get my Master Mechanic to try and get my bloody motorcycle. This is like, there's just so many chains. There's so many steps to things I'm trying to do. Like one step leads into the other, leads into the other. On and on and on and on and on. It's like the song that never ends. It goes round and round my friends. But this is just the skill trees that can never end. Going all over the place. Everything I need and want is buried so far down. I can't even freaking dipstick it. Huh. All right. Well, let's get you. Let's also grab all of you just for the tick. And then also get my nail gun. All right, let's go make some walls. Let's go get the outside as spiffy as the inside. I still have no bloody idea what to do with like the brickwork and stuff that's all around here. All like those masonry parts. I can't upgrade them to uh, to reinforce concrete, which means I also then can't upgrade them to steel or titanium or any of the stuff that comes later on. It's just kind of stuck where it is. I want to leave you until I know exactly what I'm doing with that for like the drawbridge and stuff. So I'll just carry on on the other side. 
Well, I know the drawbridge is not wide, but I'll come back to it later. I'll deal with it later. That's not a massive priority for me right now, not this very second. But what does it even take to make a drawbridge? I know I read the recipe for it. Powered reinforced drawbridge. Lots of wood. Forged iron, not too difficult. Spruce is only really expensive for wood, which isn't too bad now that I have a chainsaw after all. I can go and harvest the forest for all of its cell wall goodness and bring it home to construct whatever I want. But I don't know. I don't know where I want to put it or how I want to do it. Also, I really shouldn't have uh, reinforced that one. Mmm, that was silly because that needs to be a door. Does that need to be a door or I'll just use the draw? I'll just use the freaking drawbridge. So stop making it overcomplicated. I used up quite a lot of my concrete just to do the upper layer of all of that. So I use the concrete now to turn what I do have into reinforced or... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus. I left a bunch of my rebar frames downstairs, but I'll go and get them in a tick. I'm going to focus on just making this at least three high, hopefully ideally about four high, just so that my wall will stack up to like the bigger boys that show up. And if they do start stacking on top of each other, even though having that half block underneath is actually kind of handy to stop them uh, climbing each other's shoulders, getting piggyback rides and climbing over my walls. And I'm still not certain if it's strong enough. So I do want to make this nice and tall. So I do start stacking up behind the wall. There's still going to be some sort of defense mechanism there. All the way around as far as I can go. I will have to go get some more rebar and a tick. But this should get most of the way around. As I'm sitting here just placing blocks down. And just kind of have some time to get some of my thoughts in order. When they're as spaghettified as they are. Especially for me. That is a fair considerable effort. Look at that. Got it all the way around the top rung. That's bloody lovely. Double, let's start upgrading him. Then takes 20 per pop. It gives me lots of experience. Look at that XP bar fly. So I was kind of thinking about how this game is going to end up in like the late game stage. Put you down. Are you just a solitary spider or you're left over a remnant of the previous horde? You may well be. You know, I was thinking about like kind of how this game is going to be late game with like just the wandering horde aspect of it. And because of this darkness falls... I'm kind of curious if it's going to be harder to survive like this with Wandering Horde showing up at any point. Because, like, with Horde Knights, right? So, like, you can kind of plan and anticipate for when a demon or a behemoth or something like that is going to show up, you know? You know it's going to be at a certain time, at a certain place, and you can be in a Horde base somewhere expendable and defensible to take them on. But with this, imagine if I go raiding somewhere like... The other night when I was raiding the Cracker Book and all those spiders showed up. Imagine if I was raiding a Cracker Book in the middle of the night and a demon horde showed up. And like BDSM bitches show up and demon behemoths and all sorts of bad news are cruising around just outside in the car park. I don't think that's survivable. I don't think without having like somewhere to defend them from. I don't think fighting that many zombies at that kind of tier is actually survivable. This is going to be really interesting uh, when it progresses to the later part of the game. This, I'm not sure I'll make it to day 70 here. That's the end of my concrete. Well, I have some more crafting downstairs. I just wanted to get like this top rung dung, top rung done even, not the bloody dung beat. I'm not rolling around some feces. That does look considerably stronger already, hey. I mean, it's a little bit harder for me to get in I've, while I'm thinking about it, actually. I should go around and make sure that I do have some way for me to get my stupid bloody ass inside my own house. Let's go like that. Let's go just for some extra aesthetics uh, on face. That one then. Stick you like that. And then stick you like that. Nice big ramp up and over the top. That's definitely doable. I'll do the same on all the sides. I'll have some way to get into here if I am getting chased down by a bunch of nightmares. I really like how this is coming together though. This is a really good time. It's not much. I don't think it's actually going to get me through the last of what I need. The last couple of blocks that do need the upgrades. Take the extra five for a sweet round number. There we go. For 20 per pop, may as well roll with a multiple of 20 so I can finish off all of the blocks in a nice clean fashion. It's also, what, half past two. So it's getting on a little bit. It's getting a little bit late. My book for farming quests and stuff will be done now, though. So I can go down there and learn, well, at least how to make a farm plot and get some things planted in my backyard all the way along. So we've got 28. That's going to give me, what, 14 blocks? That's not nearly enough. That's not nearly enough at all. I need that concrete to craft faster. It takes so bloody long down there. Damn it. That's, I'm out already. I'm going to break down this car that's in the garage here, mostly because I want to use the garage for my own purposes, but also... I have been seeing this in the comment section for quite a while now. It's not uh, a new idea. It's definitely been bantered about for a little bit, but I'm finally in a position where I probably can do it. 
get you out of there. What I want to do uh, is turn this garage into a bit of a parapet. So get rid of the, the nice pointy roof. It looks adorable. It's like a little cottage, but it's not really what I'm after. I'll get rid of that. And I'll put like a bit of a turret, like a castle up on top of there. Somewhere for me to go up there with Winchester and clear out the, the land surrounding my house from relative safety without having to worry about zombies coming over and rearranging both of my nostrils. So that would be a pretty good time, I think. You're not made of anything particularly fun, so I'll just get rid of you. Get rid of all of this. Clear out the space for future vehicle parking. Then get rid of the roof to let some sunlight in. I wonder if I can just manage to get up on top of the wall with just one ladder. Rather than having to build like a proper ladder all the way from the bottom, can I just stick like one there? Yeah, I can too, because I can make that nice two meter jump. Alrighty, so crowbars out. We'll just go along and knock out all of these. Actually, wait. Is it even worthwhile me breaking down all of these ones? Although, ooh, because I want to keep like the nice roof on the inside because it has like some nice um, rafters and things. It looks like a garage now. I want to maintain that aesthetic. But I think actually getting rid of these ones just to replace them with more solid blocks. So rather than uh, like wedge chips or anything like that, I'll keep the facade on the front as well, just to kind of harken back to what this place was like with the heritage of this building where you don't want to lock it all down. Just keep the facade there just to remind everyone of its heyday. Uh, although, I've now got rid of you. Can I copy that block? I don't think I can. Do I even have that block available to me? Oh, I've done it now, haven't I? I've ruined everything. Oh, I hate it how there's creative only blocks. It's there. Let me use it. You know what? This is the back side of the garage anyway. So yeah, nah, mate. Never mind. How tall do I want to make this thing? Let's get a full block. I'd say probably about there. Actually, is probably the right. Yeah, that gives me a nice point of view across everything out here. Um, that's how high I want to make it. Almost kind of like the level of the second story over there too. Mm, do I want to match it up to that one then? Um, I'm trying to remember what, what the layout is like inside. I think if I go like that, then that layer, that like level there is about the same as the bottom of the windows. So the floor's probably one block further down. All right, let's just go that one then. Let's just go that one then. One block further up should still be enough to get. I mean, there's good coverage out here anyway. What am I whinging about? One extra block is not going to help all that much. There's barely any elevation change out here. No peaks for me to see over. So that is the target height. That's where we're aiming for. That's what we're going for. Let's continue breaking this down and build it all up again. I don't like that it still has like the guttering on the side. I'm kind of umming and ahhing if I just get rid of that. Like I still have the nice kind of like, you know, peaky roof of the garage as it is. I'm not sure if I want the overhangs of the garage. I might even just put, uh, I might just do it. Just do it so you can't look back. There we go. All the way along. Make it look a bit more square, a bit more nice, a bit more defendable. And as well as I'm building these walls taller, um, I kind of, I wouldn't like having this weird little overhang in the middle here um, because the walls would be up all around it and look a little bit silly. So get rid of all of you, all the way along like that. Yeah, this is looking good. This is going to be a lovely little spot to murder zombies from. Let's do a bit of upgrading. I'm a little bit shy on wood. I do need wood for my drawbridge as well. So it should probably be a little bit more, um, hesitant to go burning most of my materials, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be okay all the way along here as well. My gardens are nice and clear. Plus my blocks are drying. By the time I'm done with all these shenanigans, I can probably go back in and get the rest of my concrete. Now it should be up and ready to go. And then what? So we put the drawbridge over there. We put the garage door in the front of the garage here. Put a cheeky deeky ladder up to the roof up here. And then we're basically happy. It's all come together so quickly. All that preparation work has paid off. Because now in one day, despite all the other shenanigans we've been up to, with guards trying to murder us and spider hordes showing up, it's all it's all stitched together nicely. I'm glad I kept that uh, cheeky deeky facade there. That that was a good decision. Gives us some character, which I kind of like. It is going to need, though, like a parapet or something up at the top. Some way to, like, give yourself some cover. Not that you really need it, but... You just need it, you know? Otherwise, it's just a big rectangle that means nothing to no one. Go like that and like that. Ah, it's an even number. I hate buildings with even numbers. It's so much harder to build from. Okay, how about we do something a little bit creative then? Let's go. Oh, actually, could I use these ones instead? Because if I get rid of you and I stick you like that, that still gives you the nice kind of high turret side, but then in the middle, in between them... I can get this one, 
Stick you like there and like there. That's not going to work either, Josh. What were you hoping for? How did you think that was going to work? How have I... Wait, have I just got the wrong block? In my head, that looked very, very different. Uh, let's get rid of you. Is it like the... Ah, uh, the outside corner. That's the one I needed. That'll make, mash up nicely. You go there. You go like that. And then I'll take that one again. Copy shape. Stick you there. I mean, it's a little bit higgledy piggledy, but it's got a, high, a nice high point in the middle, somewhere to cower behind and take cover from. Yeah, that'll that should hopefully look kind of nice once it's done. Or do I... Nah, you know what? I took a step back and I hated it. But going back to the traditional way. I just honestly, I can't make up my mind. I made this nice little pattern where it was like little uh, low ones around here, then double big ones in between. But now that it's here, just like the last one, I kind of hate it again. So how about instead of that, I'll pick up all of you all the way around, right around mashing E. So instead of how about we reverse that? So we'll go like big ones on the corners with little ones in between. So two little ones, big one, two little one, and then big ones on the corner like that. And that should be the same kind of pattern. Yeah, okay. But it should give you more firing area, which uh, just none of them look good unless it's like a one-to-one, -one, like a proper castle in Scotland or something. But I can't do that right now. We're making do with what we have. Just trying to get it to look nice, which isn't normally what you'd think you'd be doing in the apocalypse, I know. Yeah, you know what? I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. I can sit here, rest my rifle up on the parapet here, or lean over this way to get a shot down at the wall. I can't actually... Oh, okay. If I make it to the wall, I can't see them from here. So I have to either extend the boundary of my wall downstairs with spikes or something, try and increase the distance between the base of the wall and where the zombies will be standing so I can still murder them when they show up. But for the most part, this is fine. This looks okay to me. All it really needs now is just a nice lick of paint to make it look like it's the big the big stones instead of made out of wood. But once that's painted, that should look pretty bloody spiffy. I'll put a ladder or something up in here somewhere. Not sure where just yet. But nah. Yeah, nah. All right, I quite like that. Let's just finish off the rest of you guys. I'll go you. Nope, never mind. Always check with the wrench to see if it makes a nice, like, the wrenching mechanic to see if you're going to get something fun out of it or if you're just going to beat it to death. That's all good there. All right, let's go learn farming and make some planter pots. My cement mix is finally on to making the sand to make more cement. So I'll take you with me. Um, do I have any extras lying around here? I do need you. It's still going to take three minutes or before I can make the next part of my concrete adventure. All right, I'll leave you in there for the moment. Actually, what I need to do, I need to go get some wood. I need the wood to make the drawbridge because I can't go upgrade to that part of the wall if the drawbridge is going to go there. In fact, have I done it yet? I already did do it. It's already got bloody reinforced concrete on top of it, which might... If I put... Oh, that was really dumb. Although, only really if I'm going with the Jeep, I think. The motorcycle should still fit through there relatively fine if I put the drawbridge in front of the wall. That was just really dumb. That was an oversight. That was silly by me. I've been trying so hard to leave it open. That's why that's still cobble. And then when push finally came to shove, I just sealed it over anyway. Concreted it up and left it for a surprise to someone else down the road. But I need some wood and I live in a forest. So I'm about to live in slightly less of a forest. I know I have the chainsaw, but axe should do fine. I'd rather be out there building up a sweat rather than building up a horde of zombies. That should just about do it. That's my thousand wood. Although I am still pretty shy on wood in general. So probably a little bad shout for me to go around and just grab a couple of extras if I can. Have a nice supply of the lumber for later on. Having enough wood to do the job I need to do is often a problem for me. So if I can somehow avoid that, that's probably a little bad shout. Plus, there is also some goldenrod out here. So I might quickly just grab a couple of bits of you. Grab that one. Oh, nope. You're a friend. You're a friend. That's right. It's out in the field smelling the flowers. Don't mind if I do. How about, you know what? You want to fight that one for me? It's all yours. Always a couple of, couple of spiders. I moved like 18,000 of them before. Feel free to take on a couple of light in the load. There's one over, an extra one over there for you too. Back home, sweet home. Up and over the wall. I got... Oh, the frame rate's dying a little bit. I hope there's not a horde out here somewhere cruising up on me. But I did get enough uh, golden rod that can make enough die now to last me for a little while. My bigger issue now is just my lack of paper. I'm going to have enough ink and stuff to make whatever I need, but I don't have enough paper to keep making books, which is rather unfortunate. 
There is the night time recipes. Let's go farm them. Craft one of you. I feel like this has been a very long time coming. We finally got there. Read you from the hot bar just in case. I'm not sure that's still a thing, but I'll make sure I do. Read that. Time to get out there and get working. Yep, no whackers. I can quicker just punch out that, that starting quest because it should be pretty easy. What do you need? Lots of different seeds. Wait, really? That's what you're going to ask of me straight up? Yucca fruit, golden rod seed, and yucca seed. Um, I had some of that somewhere. I just can't remember where I put it. So I have chrysanthemum seed, and I have yucca seed, which I need, but I don't have actual yucca, do I? I know I keep saying yucca when it's yucca, but I've just always said it yucca, so that's going to be a hard habit to drop. I'll grab you guys as well for some extra goodness. Eight yucca fruit. Where the living nutsack am I going to find eight yuccas in here? I live in the freaking temperate biome. There's no yucca trees around. Do I just have to grow them then, I suppose? What's it take to make a farm plot? What's that? Uh, it's still locked. I can't even fucking do it yet because you're locked behind all this garbage. Hmm. Okay. That is a little bit annoying. I can make golden rod seed though and I need... Oh, you need a mortar and pestle. I remember that. That's gonna make it much more efficient, um, efficient even for me to make. Mortar and pestle. 40 clay or 6 clay in a forge. Or advanced forge. Okay, that's definitely doable. Give me two seconds. I'll rack up some seeds. I can put my mortar and pestle on top of my cement mixer, which is kind of funny. But I, or I can put it on the stovetop, which doesn't seem like a great idea. But I can't like put it on the workbench over here or anywhere else that kind of makes an itty bitty bit of sense. So, oh, those pipes are in the way. I could... Hmm, how about I get rid of you real fast. Just pop you off just like that. Let's go back in here. Do I have any other crates? I thought I did. I thought I had a couple around the place. I guess I must have got, must have got rid of them at some points. Uh, hmm. Or I'm just blind, which is definitely a rather large and throbbing possibility. No, okay, well, that's fine. Let's just get this. Let's just chuck you in the corner over here and use that as a wannabe cupboard. In you go. Mortar and pestle. Just bang it onto them. Need some wood to upgrade you and they can paint you to look like the rest of them. But with that, I can make the seeds a little bit easier. Go. Wait, what? Why? What? We just got across it. Why? Yeah, okay, cool. Why can't I use you now? Let me use the mortar and pestle. It's right bloody in front of you. Take it in your hands and jiggle it all about. There we go. I just had to get rid of the pipes above it for some reason. But sure enough, I need two of you. Craft it up real quick. It is going to be a bit of a sacrifice for making my yellow dye, but should hopefully be worthwhile in the end. That's while I'm thinking of it. I also have a chemistry station that needs to find a home somewhere. Uh, well, I guess that's going out out here with the rest of the random garbage I have just stored out here for the moment. At some point, I will make my way up and live in, like, the rooms above me. But for now, I just have to make do with what I've got, which isn't especially much. So even enough room here to destroy that pipe as well. I don't know. I don't know. Home renos are hard. There we go. That'll do nice. I should probably upgrade this door at some point as well. That was a big of a lag spike as well. It's happening more and more, but I don't think it's actually bringing in hordes, which... Is a risky thing, but now I can make my own ink at home, which is kind of nice. I can also make some dye, which is much cheaper than making the campfire as well. So let's make three of you. I'll need some more when I can finally make you later on. But to do that, I need bloody yucca. I can't believe I need eight of them. Before I forget, I'm gonna quickly grab the rest of those dyes, run back out here, and make. Need boiled water. Okay, that's fine. I've got plenty of them just in here. Grab you. And nice and fast, make me a bunch of black dye. Now, I can't stack them, which is really annoying, but I can make all three. You should have more than enough time in there, actually. I'll take you. What's that? That's 28 seconds, uh, 29, 39. You're so close. You're so close to being right on the money. Fuck. What is that? That sounds like someone beating on something. It's something metal, which I don't know what it's going to belong to, but we're about to find out. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's so many spiders. Again. I fucking. 
fucking den! Oh, okay, they don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. Just relax a little bit, Josh, and try not to draw the attention of all the fangs and legs in the world. <laughs> that's so... That's the worst! Oh, thank God that I've been on the metal fence next door. I never would have known you were there. Look at my heart, my, my heart, my compass, by the way. Because I'm crouching and sense the animals. It's just like, hey, guess what? Your entire world is infested with fuck off. They are crawling all over that building over there. The temptation to go yeeting some Molotovs over there and make it the last thing they ever do while still wearing their furry coats. It's very tempting. However, last time I did that, all of the zombies in the world figured out where I was. So... Probably not the greatest of decisions that I can make right about now. Instead, given it's one in the morning, they'll be there in the morning. I can take them on then. There's no use me going out there now and getting my face bitten off. So instead, going to head back down into my nice little cave of wonders down here and try not to touch any of the treasure. Come on, Abu. Let's get over here. Don't touch the giant red crystal. Don't bring the seas of lava. Oh, that may be very, very loud. Okay, we're here. We're fine. We're happy. Huh, right, so tomorrow, now I mean, now I have most of my wall up, that's pretty good. My cement mixer is making some more cement too, so I should be able to finish off that third rung of my wall tomorrow. But also, more importantly, I need to go on an adventure. I need to go and try and find these eight yucca fruits from somewhere. Don't know how I'm going to manage that, but I'll give it my utmost, because I want to get my farm up and rolling. Once I have that, I can make meat stews, and I can really start feeding myself some delicious treats that's going to take care of my food and my water. But I'll have to do that in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.